Good morning. Good morning, family. Hey, this morning we're going to have a little bit of fun. Um, we're going to put together what I call my version of the man omelet, right? <laughs> the man omelet, what, what that's going to consist of is we talk about some peppers, uh, orange pepper, green pepper, maybe put some yellow peppers in, onions, we're going to have some sausage and some bacon added in. Also with that breakfast, we're going to have some Belgian waffles and some OJ. I uh, might turn the OJ into my little, my version of a mimosa by adding some, um, maybe some cranberry uh, ginger ale. But anyway, um, welcome to my version of the man omelet. So uh, let's get started. Um, what I want to get going first is I'm going to start my um, my Belgian waffles and, and I'm not sure if a lot of people know this but uh, I'm just going to use the basic uh, uh, Angel Mama hey, Angel Mama on the pancake box everybody remember that when we was kids right anyway that ain't my mama but um, anyway use some Angel Mama buttermilk complete and what a lot of people don't know is hey when you use the, um, the complete, uh, you don't have to add a lot of the ingredients, but one thing I find is cool to add, and that's a little 2% milk. And what that does is helps to add like a fluffiness to both your waffle, and also when you, when you um, do your eggs, it adds a fluffiness to them. So I'm gonna start out and get my waffle mix ready, so that once everything else is prepared, the waffle takes the least amount of time so then I'll switch over, get waffle done, and have hot breakfast. <clears throat> okay, you have to whip out, whip out mix up real good. You wanna have your mix whipped up real good, and I usually try to get all of the, the lumps out. Everybody knows about the lumps, so. I'm gonna whip it up real good. Uh, looks like I put enough milk in it, so don't have to do no more milk. And believe it or not, that quick is our waffle mix ready to go. Okay, so I, I can move this stuff aside and get ready for my next um, stage for my breakfast. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get our onion ready. Okay. Okay. I usually like to cut my ends off. Uh, if you got garbage disposal, one good thing you can do, eh, let my waffle maker make a noise. So, I can unplug that until I'm ready. <laughs> I don't want to create no condition. All right, with, with my onion, a lot of times if you got a garbage disposal, Drop it all in there, grind it up, get rid of it. Um, helps keep the odor down in, in your kitchen, in your kitchen trash. All right. And also what I like to do too is I like to rinse my, I like to rinse my onions off. So you rinse them off, go ahead and cut your onion pieces up, and always cut more, more is better. All right, more is better. I know a lot of you are watching, waiting for me to cut my hand up, but not happening, but what I will do is I'll go to a larger cooking board. I'll pull the beast out. That helps a little bit better. Okay, now we got our onions here. We can start. Um, it's good to use one of these larger knives. 
um, when you use the small knife, uh, not as good. With the large knife, um, put one hand on top of the knife, and that way, you know, you keep, you keep a little better control. And as far as cutting the onions up, um, they can be small, and be cut up small. So, anyway, and of course you guys know, Ah, a lot of onions, a lot of onions, a lot of onions. Um, work my onions down. Alright. Um, need to have them cut up kind of small. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I do, um, you know, eat some, I like onions a lot and don't really need, don't really need big jumbo onions. So, all right, got my onions cut up. Next thing I'm gonna work on is my pepper. All right, you start out, cut your pepper in half. And don't know what it's called, but I break all that stuff on the inside, I break all that off, and then I kind of rinse the pepper out a little bit, and get it ready, and while I'm at it, might as well do this other one too. And rinse that one as well, okay? And kind of cut the pepper. Um, for anyone who's trying to figure out what I'm doing, um, prepping my main omelet. All right, um, prepping my main omelet. Uh, and the cool thing about this is, I'm not a cook, so um, can be done by you know just about anybody. Hey, it can be done by a kid, if necessary. And if you're wondering why I'm not looking at the camera more, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, not interested in getting cut, losing a finger. Okay, um, once again with your green peppers, you wanna get them down in the size. And again, the cool thing is, is that the bigger knife um, is a real benefit. Uh, and then also, uh, something most people don't really know, when you're cooking and you're cutting, you're cutting up stuff, you usually wanna have your fingers on a down position, holding Anything that needs to be whole, your fingers on the down. That way, if you accidentally go with the knife, you're not knifing your finger. You want along your finger. So always remember when you're cutting, fingers in the down position. Okay, and I usually get them chopped up good before I start trying to do my little my little uh, chopper. Now, some of you people um, out there may have. Um, the little automatic choppers. Uh, I'll get me one one day. <laughs> or somebody can gift me one. If you'd like to see your chopper being used, you can give me a chopper. Alright. peppers and onions and stuff like that for a later date too. So that way I don't have to keep, every time I turn around, keep uh, cutting up onions, cutting up green peppers. It don't have to be something I have to do daily. Usually um, if I cut up enough, 
I can I can leave them in the fridge, and they eh, they last put it like this for sure they last the weekend. Uh, anything beyond that, I'm not sure, but they will last the weekend. All right, I'll rinse these out, and you know you rinse them out real good, get all the seeds out of them, and then you can. Kind of start the cut in the same way. Uh, this orange one, I was cutting him because he's been in there for a minute, so time for him to go. Uh, that's another thing, too. You want to keep track of the age of your food and work your, your stuff that's been around for a minute. Uh, this one still looks good, but it's starting to get a little bit uh, tight on it, so that's how I know. Uh, she was due to be eaten. All right. So once again, slicing them down. Anyway, this is Saturday morning, and uh, trying to do a little bit of uh, keep your mind off of what's going on around with the politics and all the other crazy stuff. So this is something good to do for, for some people. Of course, again, I'm not a major cooker. I will cook. Not a major cooker though. <laughs> I like to eat, but not a major cooker. Um, I think what I am more like people say, well, what are you then? You ain't no cooker. What are you doing there? I'm a, I'm an artist, and I like to create. I like, I like to create stuff. So anyway, and like say I'm creating this video, right? And I'll see how I do with it, and see if I can figure out a way to create it so it don't look so, so long. All right. All right, get my peppers together. All right, so now, got my peppers together, got my onions together. So now, it's time to put my eggs together. All right, let's see what we got there. Another thing I have to prep, um, my sausage, which I, pre-cook, just to make sure I wouldn't spend a lot of time cutting my sausage up. Um, basically, I just use um, regular sausage links. And um, cut them down kind of small, but I actually like those small as well. I like them, I like them chopped up because um, don't know about you, but when I eat an omelet, uh, since I'm a meat eater, I like to have a little bit of meat in each bite, right? So, I tend to chop my meats up a little bit too, just like I do with the vegetables, all right? Chop the meats up, all right? And then also, um, occasionally rinsing off my, my cooking utensils and I have me some Canadian bacon and chop some of that up as well. All right, Canadian bacon ham. And again, you don't have to use all these ingredients in one sitting. What I do is I try to cut up enough so that I can have stuff for another quick meal. So this is the weekend. So 
what you can say. We're going to be eating good all week. So, to start, here are my basic ingredients for the man omelet, all right? Onions, green peppers, orange peppers, sausage, and Canadian bacon, okay? So, let's get going with my, with my eggs, all right? I'm using, you can use large to extra large eggs, um, really, whatever your style is, okay? Um, for what I'm doing, this is gonna be probably about, uh, five, yeah, I hate when you get that little dot. Get that little dot in there, what is it? Uh, not sure what it is, but. Like anything, it looks weird. And then also, I see I have a shell. So we all know about the shells. Uh, not a shell eater. All right, Here's four eggs, uh, five eggs, six eggs. Okay, the way to start off with my eggs, just start off getting my eggs up real good. And what do I use to season my eggs a little bit? All right, again, as I explained to you earlier, I like to add a little milk, just a drop of milk. Um, just just a, a fluffy thing, right? And if you put too much milk in, just so you know, they become Milk eggs, <laughs> which nobody really likes milk eggs. Okay, seasonings. Uh, I'm gonna go with a little bit of cayenne pepper. Um, I'm gonna go with a little cayenne pepper. All right, it's just to spice the eggs up a little bit. All right, for health conscious people like myself I'm going with some old school Mrs. Dash alright and for people who try, aren't health conscious a, a tad of salt okay Eggs up. <coughs> oh, excuse me, family. Oh, cool. You know what time it is with that pepper. All right, now we're gonna go with a little cheese in the egg. All right, and also we'll go with a little cheese on top of the egg when we're making it. Okay, now. We're ready to put this concoction together. I know everybody say, hey, why you ain't got all that together, man? Hey, I'm new at this. All right. We got our egg. Uh, what you have to think about is now how much of each ingredient do you want to add in? Um, onions. I'm an onion guy, so I add a few onions in. Green peppers, I love my peppers. All right, red peppers, again, love my peppers. All right, here, take it, start to mix it up. All right, what does it look like? 
This is what it looks like now, all right? Now, I don't mix the meat in now. What I usually do is I usually start the uh, omelet, and then and when I get ready to start all that flipping stuff you do. All right, a couple things I do. I do the, I use a, where is it? I use a healthy uh, butter, Smart Balance, um, believe it or not, it says um, supports healthy cholesterol levels, right? And believe it or not, it works just as good as regular butter. Because I'm an old school butter guy. I'm that guy who used to take it and butter down every piece of bread, every biscuit, every roll. And um, so um, when this was introduced to me as a way of um, helping to, you know, live a healthier life, uh, I originally thought it wasn't going to, you know, well, I'm gonna work out, but it did. All right, so anyway, you butter your pot, you take the butter, and you spray it all around, all around the top and everything. All right, now, I'm using a, a pot that's like kind of conducive for um, making an omelet in the way the pot is designed. It has a little flat in the bottom, and it'll be good for making an omelet. All right, so pour your ingredient in. Pour your ingredient in. And watch your fire. Don't want your fire up too high. You want to kind of slow cook it, but to make sure everything gets cooked, okay? And then we start to look at um, you know, putting a little bit of the sausage and the green peppers in, and the, um, and the Canadian bacon. Okay. okay first one. Okay. And also another thing funny too is you put it on on one side. This is what it looks like in the um, frying pan. Yep, looks good. Okay, this is what it looks like after you flip it. Now, remember this. This ain't an aha or a Denny's waffle. This is your waffle at home. As it starts to come together for you, you can add a little cheese on top. Might as well get the plate ready. Now we have one, one man omelet. Ready to go, fam. Now I know it, I know it needs to be. You guys are looking like, what the hell he doing? <laughs> anyway, believe it or not, delicious, all right? Um, if I want to make the cheese melt a little bit more, right, I can throw it in the microwave, melt the cheese, give it a nice melted cheese look, okay? Anyway.